Hello and welcome to our reflections on Friday. This is actually being filmed on Thursday at tea time. And I wonder if any of you recognise where I am. Some of you have been here before, I would wager. Let me just uh, turn around and see if you get any clues. You see in the background some rather splendid cliffs, beautiful Derbyshire stone wall. I'm at Cliff College in my home county of Derbyshire and I'm here for a 24 hour meeting with uh, colleagues who, who share the leadership of the ordination retreat that I um, that I will be doing later on in the summer. Uh, there are four of us on the team, but more of that later. It's wonderful to be in the uh, Derbyshire countryside, to see the grandeur of the landscape, and to see something of the glory of God in it. We've been looking this week at Ezekiel's vision of the glory of God, which in his case was in very pictorial um, words of, of the amazing nature of God's majesty and the awe that he had of the visions that he'd received. I've moved on from Ezekiel though in this particular reflection. I want instead to get you looking forward to Sunday and the epistle that's set for Sunday comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 1 to 8. You will remember that uh, Paul uh, has spent some time in Corinth and has been getting rather exasperated at the way in which they don't cotton on how Christian living should be. There's been all kinds of divisiveness, there's been sort of personality cults within the church and, and he's written letters, um, the first of which uh, we have 1 Corinthians 2 Corinthians comes a bit later, there's two others that we know happened but got lost along the way. And he speaks in 1 Corinthians 3 about the way in which there are different personalities involved in the building up of the church. Uh, there's Apollos and there's himself. He talks about somebody planting and another watering the seed that's been sown. But it's all for one purpose, for God's purposes. So it is, of course, with us. And he talks about um, the Corinthians being altogether God's fellow workers, indeed being God's field. Hmm. That brings me to a specific prayer request. I want you to pray with me today for the team that helps to uh, lead our circuit, it includes the ministers and the lay workers, but the circuit stewards in particular. And we need to recruit some more. Our experience here at, at Cliff is that we are forming a new team. Uh, we've got a new team member. We try to be representative of all the Methodist people, even though our team is so small. There's a spread of gender, of sexuality. There are people who are good at music, people who are good at techie stuff. There's people who are just old and experienced like me and people who are a bit younger. There's people from all sorts of ministerial situations. And yet there's only four of us. When we had to recruit a new member, which we have this year, we didn't just seek to replace the person with a, some sort of identical model, if that would have existed. It's not a clone that we looked for, but somebody who could add something that would complement the rest of our giftings. And it's working out really well. I hope that we can do the same with our circuit steward recruitment, which we need to have in place by the summer. We really need not 
identical people to the ones who have served in the past, but people, perhaps some with speciality and, and others who have no particular speciality, but, but are just loyal and spiritual and prayerful and keen and want to serve. So we have on the circuit stewards team somebody already who, who is good with money, somebody already who is experienced in property matters. But we don't necessarily need to restrict ourselves to finding people with those giftings this time. We have people who are good at supporting ministry. Uh, me. <laughs> That's important. We will need people who can help to work out my successor when that time comes, who it should be, what we're looking for. I wonder if you, yes, you might be whom God is calling now. Or if God is putting a particular name into your mind, even as I speak. Please pray with me now that we find the right people. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you that you raise up your people for the tasks that, that are needed in any particular situation. Thank you that you have indeed raised up good people in the past to serve us. Thank you for those who are part of our circuit leadership team now and for their time of service, however long that may be, for some quite, quite a few years. Thank you for the three who are, who are really coming to the end of their time as circuit stewards. Raise up the people you want, O oh God. Enable them to be available. And if you are spe speaking a particular word into our ears and our hearts, let us be attentive to it. To you be all the praise and all the glory. Amen.